Camera ready? Camera action. Okay, vacuum aluminum brazing. The next chapter of our Seco Talks episode about brazing of aluminum alloys. Today I am with Łukasz Fiałkowski, my expert yes, hello. for aluminum brazing. Good morning. Let's start. Łukasz, I invited you today to ask you about just three the most critical factors for aluminum brazing. How do you see it? If we should focus about three, I like to speak about cleanness of process, okay. vacuum parameters, and uh, uniformity of the heating. Okay, so let's start. Distribution. Yes, let's start with the first one, with the cleanness. Maybe the most critical. Yes, in but my opinion. The cleanness, yes. we have to go outside of the furnace. Yes, let's go. Just to start. Okay, Łukasz. Yes. From the constructional point of view, typical brazing furnace is different from aluminium brazing furnace. Why? In, in, in terms of the cleanness. Exactly, because uh, in our solution, we try to reduce the volume of the vessel. Volume? Volume. Okay. The, yes. Uh, why? To increase the efficiency of the pumping system. Thanks to this, we try to eliminate and take out all the elements from inside the furnace. Okay, so mean the volume, but also the total surface area of internal elements from in, inside the vacuum vessel. Exact, exactly, okay. because we like to reduce the outgassing okay. from the surface of some material. Yes, this is why. So For example, we are here see the, what it is. I know. We speak the turbo cooling yes. system. Why we have this outside? because we like to have heat exchanger with the fan mm -hmm. outside of the process chamber. So no influence of heat exchanger with a large surface size exactly. inside. Exactly. And everything is uh, installed externally. And, less, and also okay. less volume. Yes. Okay. Thanks to this also that we have everything outside, we are keep heat exchanger in good condition. Okay. Because during the process, Magnesium is going everywhere. Yes, I heard some examples of uh, people doing aluminum brazing in, let's say, typical brazing furnace and uh, some problems with heat exchangers uh, covered with magnesium. Exactly. Yeah. It's not easy to clean yes. and you lose a lot efficiency. of efficiency of the cooling. That process is longer. Thanks to this that we have everything outside, we keep in good condition, in good shape okay. the heat exchanger Walkers. and we have still the same cooling parameters. Summarizing, vacuum aluminum brazing furnace has to be as simple as possible inside the chamber exactly. and all possible elements to be installed outside like external uh, blower with motor heat exchanger, let's say external cooling system. Exactly. This is what always I try to explain. Inside the furnace should be just the parts and hot chamber. Yeah. That's all. Everything what you can remove it, we take out. Perfect. Yeah. The next aspect is that we try to eliminate contamination okay. and condensation of the water that you can make loading and unloading at hot condition. Okay, so Ned, now, now we have to change our location. Yes. Let's go back Let's to go. the inside yes. of the phone. Okay. Good. Okay. Lukas, you already, you already said about loading and loading on the hot temperature, yeah. so we can open the main door yes. of the furnace to load the furnace, but we have another door. We have also a maintenance door, okay. which is support the maintenance. It's much easier, much more safety, okay. because we know magnesium is, is dangerous to, to, to clean. So these doors are to make the operator life easier? Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the, the next uh, aspect, what I like to touch about the cleanness of the process, because we already speak about the everything is outside. outside. We speak that we can load and unload the parts in the hot condition. Okay. Why we are doing this? To eliminate the condensation of the water and... Condensation from the air. From the air, exactly. Okay. And connecting to this aspect, we care also about temperature of the vessel and the door because okay. this is also big surface and we try to keep much 
hotter temperature comparing to the room temperature. So it's not like in a typical vacuum furnace that yes. we use the water cooling system continuously, but when opening the door, we keep the te water temperature a bit warmer to avoid condensation of moisture. The water system is work in constants, yes. but we have some special solution. We have some tricks. We have some. Okay. Yeah, we have some. We don't, I don't like to speak about this, how we are doing this, but, but we know how to do it. Yes, and okay, we are perfect. control the water temperature. Great. Yes. Lukasz, this was the critical point number one. Yes. Critical point number two, what do you think? Pumping. Pumping. Okay. Why a uh, pumping system is uh, so important? If one, one, I think I, I have to add one more thing because brazing of aluminium we do in a relatively lower temperature. So yes, as far as I know, it's the most difficult uh, step to pump the furnace in the lower temperature. So temperature is not the issue yeah. in my opinion. But if we are looking, look, the furnace is not so big. The volume we try to reduce, even yes. we, you can see, we don't have any ad additional elements, just the hot chamber and the parts. Empty vessel and yes, hot chamber. But the diffusion pumps, if we are comparing the volume of the furnace and volume of the diffusion pumps, the diffusion pump is really huge. big one, uh -huh. it's huge, comparing to the size. And many people asking why you are why? using so big. Why? Because we have magnesium. During the process, magnesium is start vaporization. Magnesium, to be on the same page, magnesium is the con is inside the aluminum alloy. Exactly. Yeah. In the base material or in the clad, yes. some customer can add also the magnesium inside the hot chamber. Mm -hmm. And the magnesium is start vaporization about 500 degrees C, okay. but the most peak, it is about 550 590 degrees C and it's really huge outgassing and so we, we need, need to we need to very fast very quick pump down yes. because we need to keep the 10 minus 5 uh, millibars vacuum level inside continuous mm -hmm. during the process in high temperature mm -hmm. for aluminum is high yes, yeah? yes, yes. over 500 degrees C and this is the reason why so we have big diffusion pumps and why the vacuum parameters is so important. Yeah. I like to speak about a few aspects more when we speak about the vacuum, because when the magnesium is go out, the magnesium is inside. Yes. Yes. And if magnesium is go everywhere, this is the problem for the maintenance, for the maintenance, life. for end user, for the life of the vessel. It's not easy to clean. This is why we have some special traps. We have some special labyrinth, labyrinth. Yes. And also we have the traps in each corner. And magnesium always is go to the cold place. Our intention is to always to uh, locate the magnesium uh, vapors or magnesium residuals on the traps that we can remove, clean and, and yes. replace. We, we like to control this, where the magnesium is go. <laughs> Perhaps they don't hear, but we are in a factory in a working condition. So we hear a little bit each other. It's yeah. a little bit complicated, but so far so good. We have magnesium traps. We do not want to show all the details. We know how to do it. And yes. number, number the, three, the, the last point. Last point is the uniformity of the heating. Okay. Why is so important? You send me some picture. I will open and you can, you yeah. can explain. Okay. Uh, why is so important the uh, temperature uniformity? Because in uh, vacuum aluminium uh, brazing process, we have something like window brazing. How it looks the process? Mm -hmm. We have base material and clad material and base material. Clad material always always is a little bit lower liquid uh, temperature, about 10 degrees C, comparing to the base material. Yes, this is why the furnace normally is in the first class, yes. plus minus three degrees C, because the windows uh, brazing window is narrow. Yes, and this is why. I like to speak about few aspects from our solution, why our customer thinking is most optimal. One of them is the heating elements. We, use the, we use the ribbon types. You send me the yes. picture of yes. it. 
Yes. And I see the why we the most critical is radiation. Yes. yes. It's, it's, it's two it's two different uh, heating elements. Can be f uh, plate flat or the ribbon type. Yes. Why we using the ribbon type? Because we cover uh, all the surface by radiation. Yes. This is what I like to tell. How we normal standard brazing is about 1,000 degrees C. Even mm -hmm. more, 1200 yes. degrees C. Mm -hmm. But vacuum aluminium brazing is half, and 600. Because of the physics, 600 for radiation is not easy. Exactly. Uh, the, the more efficient is uh, convection heating. In exactly, this but in this process, to have the magnesi magnesium vaporization, we need to keep 10 minus 5, no yes. convection. Yes. So, Ribbon type heating elements is this much is better comparing to the plates. Number one, what's, yes. what we can do more to keep the uniformity? Okay, to keep plus minus three, yes. we have six control thermocouples, one for each wall. You can see one is here, here, I think. here, here, and also in the door. On the door, That's yes. We have six, we have six control thermocouples, but also to help to better power distribution, mm -hmm. we have each one wall like three cartridge divided by three exactly yeah. that means in each one cartridge we have different power output so six walls six, six temperature thermocouples exactly and total 18 18 programming zone thanks okay. to this we have 18 one phase transformer 18 yes. one phase thyristor yeah so it, it gives the warranty to have the uniformity, not more it's than plus easier, minus It's easier yes. in the future life, because we know that at the beginning always is nice, mm -hmm. but after yes. a few years, the temperature is changed, some isolation loose. Temperature changing, but also you can put a different load with smaller parts, bigger parts, and it also influences on the temperature mm -hmm. distribution. Exactly. But also thanks to this that we have three cartridge, for, from maintenance point of view, we can easily remove it. We don't to replace the heating elements. We don't need to take out all the hot chamber. We can just remove one slide. Okay, so another and assemble it again. It's fast. Another feature for operators, yes, exactly. or for maintenance people mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Good. For me, it's more than enough. But yeah. of course, if uh, anyone wants to learn more, you know where to find us. So for today, but yes. I have some one topic ah, more. What yes. I like to speak. We have small post scriptum now. Okay, well, let's, let's go. go. Yeah. Okay, Lukas. Yes. We already discussed about uh, fairness. That is already during the production phase for our for one of our customer industrial uh, size fairness. And what is this? A little bit smaller. Yes. <laughs> we are now in our R and D. Okay. And we install the vacuum aluminium brazing furnace in our R&D department a few years ago to help our customer for developing the process. Sometimes the customer like to start. Yes. And they don't know. Prototypes or they don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. And we are here to help them. Okay. I bring some one of the example that we can brace this type of the parts here. We can support our customer with the process parameters. Perfect. with the profile of the process we are here to help okay but we we invite we invite the people that they like in the beginning of the vacuum aluminium brazing process so the fairness is the one thing but also it's important to to know that we have the people we have people with, with experience, experience knowledge we yes exactly and do the mm -hmm. Lukas, thank you so much for today for your time i hope it will be also interesting for you and that's it for today, follow our second talks.